what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to clean up tracks in blender and to do this we need to go to the vfs workspace and to do so click on plus sign come to vfs then choose motion tracking now guys this is not a motion tracking tutorial okay right now we need to load in our footage and to do this click on open go to your file directory and drag your footage in and press open click okay click on set scene frame to match the frame rate and click on prefetch to load your video into memory all right okay now when you play this you will see that this camera is moving slightly and we need to remove the markers on the wall and to remove the markers we need to track it and before we track this we need to shade do some settings over here come to track settings over here and click on normalize and choose the creep frame and change it to previous frame now to add the tracking markers control click to add the markers now go to clip display and enable search all right expand this to fit the tracker then now we need to track the whole sequence now click here to track the whole sequence all right okay now this is tracked and we need to track another marker on the wall all right now i'm tracking the next marker on the wall control click to add the tracker expand it to fit the marker and track forward all right now you see that this marker stick throughout the whole shot and i will just track the remaining two markers and i will get back to you when i'm done all right guys now that i have tracked all the markers the next thing to do now is to mask out the markers and to do this press tab to go to mask and press new now to add a mask click on the markers and press shift a okay now we have circle and we have square now i'm choosing square click on square now you can mask it manually or resize it automatically by pressing a and press s to scale down and to fit the markers okay now i need to parent the tracker with the mask to do this press tab to go to track and select the track press tab again to come to max then press a to select all the points and press ctrl p to parent it now if you play through you will see that this mask is stick with the tracker all right now i have to repeat the same steps to the remaining markers okay okay now i am choosing another markers okay click on it to center 2d now i need to add a new mask and to do this click right here to add a new mask now you can see it changed to mask 002 now click shift a to add a mask and click square now press s to resize it to fit the marker all right okay now i need to print this also press tab to go to tracker and select the tracker and press tab again to come to markers press a to select all the points and press ctrl p to parent it now if you play through you see that it's also stick throughout the whole shot all right now i need to do the same to the remaining two markers
okay guys now i am done adding mask to the markers okay let me quickly show you what i did here now this is track one and you see that it stick throughout the shot let me show you through our mask two okay click here and press mask two you see it is the mask three and this is the mask four and you see that it stick throughout the whole shot now we need to go to compositing workspace to do the effect all right click on compositing and click on use nodes we don't need this render layer because we are not rendering any 3d now press x to delete that and now we need to drop in our movie clip now press shift a and come to input now select movie clip okay now click on the dot on the image then drag the it to connect with this image here all right now press shift a again and come to color then shoot alpha over now drop that in between now you see that it's connect you see now click on here and add your movie clip okay now all right now we need a viewer node click on the alpha over and press shift and control and click on the alpha over to drop in a viewer node now we are seeing a white background now we need to view our movie clip remove the connection from the first image and drop it down to the second image now we can see our movie clip now we need to add in our mask we did earlier in the motion tracking session here all right you see the motion tracking session here, the mask here we need to drop in to the composite all right now press shift a and go to input then drop in mask node now this mask node we are we need to add four of it and to duplicate this press shift d to duplicate it and shift d again and another shift d because we need four of this now we need to connect this together with mix node to do this press shift a again come to color then choose mix node this mix right here we need to change it to add then press on the mix and come to add here to change it to add now we need to connect the mask node with this mix here connect it with the first image and the other with the second image now we need this mix like three we need to duplicate it shift d to duplicate it and shift d to duplicate it again okay now connect the other with this here and the last one here all right just arrange it properly like so okay now we need to connect this mix also together with the last one now drop the mix image here to the first image and the other to the second image now to view this mask here we need to input the mask in it click here to add the fox mask click on the fox mask now click on the other to choose the second mask click on the third one to choose the third mask and also the last one okay now to view this mask we need to press shift and control and press the node at the same time so we can view the mask all right now this is the alpha mask of the mask okay now we need to join this with this footage right here now click on the image here the dot and drag it to the first to the factor here now you see that we only see our markers and we need to view also view the movie clip and to do this drop in another connection from the movie clip into the second image now we have to input from the movie clip now as we remove the one connection from the down image we see that this change to white and we need to erase it to fit on the background now i change the color you can see that the color also change with it now i want to do something just pick color and bring the color close to the image now you see that this almost clean away 
and this is not what we want move the clip back to the down image of the node here okay now we need to drop in a node called translate node and to do this press shift a and come down to distortion distort here and choose translate drop in translate to the down connection here okay now i need to translate the x axis of this node network now if i increase the translate here you see that this markers is shifting from left to right and the more it shifts the more it gets away from the shot now when i increase it very well you see that it's getting away gradually it's cleaning off now you can see it remains more now you can see that this markers is no more in the shot now i need to feather the edges of the mask with a blur node okay now press shift a and go to filter then choose blur shading from gaussian to fast gaussian all right then increase the x and the y value maybe by 10 10 is okay all right i just did that to feather the edges of the mask so that it will be more precise now this is done and you can go to the next frame just to check if this works well okay now you can see that you don't see any markers here even from another frame all right now this is done i just need to render this as a movie clip now just come here okay just come to output here then choose your directory output okay give it a name okay then accept now we need to choose it from the file format from png to video now come back to encoding and choose mega 4 then come to the media quality and change it to high quality here okay now come up here and click on render and choose render animation and this is how to clean up tracks in blender in the future i will still show you the advanced method of cleaning up tracks in blender and thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video